on Montana's News Station. Winter in Montana, but also the perfect time of year to start planning for summer adventures. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We'll get back to the boat shows in a moment. First at 530, the Glasgow skier reported missing yesterday was located within the first hour of search this morning, five miles from the North Fork at the Blackfoot River Trailhead. Around 11 initial crews trekked into the wilderness on snowmobiles and skis. They say they had prepared to face bad weather and some intended to stay overnight if they had not found Keith Burke before then. There was a lot of concern about what the crews might encounter with the terrain and snow, and they remind skiers to plan ahead when venturing out on an adventure alone. It just adds a whole new dynamic to it, especially because we've had a couple winter storms blow through, and so he's looking at some pretty extreme conditions with wherever he went. So Probably something like this, you definitely want to have your route uh, sketched out on a map and give it to somebody yeah. and then stick to that route. Burke was found skiing along the trail. He says the trip had taken him a little longer than expected. The total trip length was about 28 miles from where he started at the Dearborn Trailhead and the trailhead the crews had started from. Scattered snow showers moved through the area overnight with some getting hit harder than others. Let's head over to the Storm Tracker Weather Center. Claire, what can we expect for tonight? Well, Jen, as we head into the evening, things will be back to more snowy conditions. We had snow earlier this morning, lightened up a bit. Now another wave is moving through. Here's a look at our live Doppler. We're seeing that that snow showers are continuing to move through, moving through down to the south uh, east corner. Great Falls is getting snow. Shoto is getting fall. Most parts of our area are, and here's a look at what it feels like out there. So it's feeling chilly with those snow showers. I'll let you know coming up with my complete forecast how long that's going to be sticking around. Back to you, Jen. All right, thanks, Claire. The Attorney General Tim Fox is challenging the Dodd-Frank Act, which imposes stricter financial regulations on the banking industry. The bill passed in 2010 had support from both Montana senators who say they are continuing to monitor the restrictions passed to make sure compliance does not hurt Montanans. Senator John Tester's office says before 2010, there were no referees to keep Wall Street from gambling with the savings of the middle class. Spokeswoman Andrea Helling says Senator Tester supported the bill because it put consumers ahead of big banks, and he will continue to push for common sense legislation that protects consumers. Senator Max Baucus also voted in support of the bill, and his office says he is watching carefully to make sure the bill is implemented in a way that works for Montana and is weighing in with regulators so community banks don't get swept up in the rules that are meant for Wall Street. The City County Health Department is utilizing its Achieve Grant funds to help inspire healthy changes in the community. CCHD reports 68% of Cascade County residents are overweight or obese, a number well above the state average. In addition to combat the problem, in an effort to combat the problem, officials created a neighborhood survey. The survey aims to find out what activity residents are currently getting and how to make healthy options the easy option, which officials say will improve more than just the individual's lifestyle. To our, our community as a whole, you start having people, a large percentage of your population that's at risk for, for uh, health issues, it's just going to start crumbling. Thompson says those who are overweight put themselves at a higher risk for heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. She says they'll use the feedback from the neighborhood survey as a data baseline to help establish functional solutions in the future. The Certified Nursing Assistant Program at Paris Gibson Education Center is giving students a jump start to their health care careers. And Chance Claire Anderson spoke with one student who has taken advantage of the program and the value she found in having a career before receiving her diploma. Paris Gibson's CNA program counts as high school credit and it's offered at a significantly lower cost. This allows 18-year-old Dakota to add the title certified nurse's assistant to her duties as mom and high school student. I love the program. I love doing my CNA and it really has helped me out a lot. We have had quite a few students go through that and it works in with their high school and everything that they're doing so by the time they're out of high school they're actually certified, which is really neat. It gets them started into a job. For young mothers like Dakota, receiving a steady paycheck before receiving a diploma is a big benefit of the program. The CNA certification allows for young parents to start careers with more than minimum wage income and be able to provide for themselves and their child. I have my own apartment now and everything for him and I'm able to support him because I have this job because I get paid a lot more than minimum wage. It moves them into that 
I'm a responsible working parent um, quicker, which actually, I mean, gives them some empowerment because they're like, okay, I'm doing good. I'm able to provide for my child. Ultimately, Dakota hopes this is only the start of her career in healthcare. The program allows me to kind of get an understanding of what I might be into or what different things I might need. And it really is a stepping stone to help me later. Nursing assistant, homework, and mom duty. It's all in a day's work for Dakota, and being able to provide for her son while creating a future for herself is what she strives for every day. In Great Falls, Claire Anderson, MTN News. The CNA program has an average of 10 to 15 students per year at Paris Gibson, and it only costs the students $99. Snow may be falling outside, but some are already gearing up for summer. Wallace Marine held their annual boat show this weekend, where hundreds of people looked at at least 50 boats of every make, model, and style. Wallace Marine owner Mitch Posey says he's seen an increase of serious buyers, which indicates a good year ahead. We've seen a lot of positive attitudes this year, and I think people are just a little more upbeat than in some of the, than in some of the years past. Across town, organizers of the Missouri River Boat Show also say their interest in boats oh, yeah. is up. Yeah, but more than just the recreational vessel, they're seeing more people gravitate towards the sport of wake surfing. It is the major, major growth sport in our industry. So surfing is huge and uh, limited number of boats that surf, but really opening quite a, quite a new door for outdoor recreation for families. For those who haven't explored their opportunities on the water for the summer, both of the boat shows will continue tomorrow. For more information on their hours, view this story on our website. Now it's hard to imagine tubing, being out on the boat yes. in the sunshine right now after seeing those radar screens. Yeah. Snow is our way, it's here. <laughs> Snow is all around for a lot of parts of our area and with that the visibility has been reduced quite a bit. We've been talking about some road problems, it's been wet in some icy places. It's definitely been issues in yeah. some areas more than others. And but. right now, here's a look at our visibility right now. It's reduced quite a bit in Great Falls, around a mile, half a mile in White Sulphur Springs. But right now between Great Falls and Lewistown, there's some snow and ice. Down to Helena from Great Falls, it is some wet roads and snow covered between Browning and Cup Bank. Coming up in my complete forecast, I'll let you know how long this is going to stick around.